So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial. Uh, before I begin this tutorial, I just want to apologize for not making many uh, videos in this series for, uh, for quite a while. Um, you may know that I've been focusing quite a bit on the JavaScript series. I want to try and get this series done uh, like as soon as possible. Um, so I'm going to be trying to record each and every video of this series tonight. And I'll, yeah, they'll all be uploaded very soon. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at styling links. Now what I mean by this is we're going to be changing uh, basically the basic uh, styling such as color, background color, whatever elements you want and also we'll be changing the element, the styling for when it's hovered over like we looked at in the previous tutorial uh, we'll also be looking at active links and visited links so what we need to do is we need to just style the A just the normal anchor tag and we'll set the color to orange because why not and what I'm going to do is I'll show you here this is currently purple with the default styling because I previously visited this link. But now if I refresh it, you see it's now orange because uh, once you start styling a link, it will change for everything. So even if this is active, so when I'm holding it down, or even though I visited this before, by the way, it's taken me to my website, um, even though I visited it and everything, it's basically clearing all of the other styling for everything about this link. So it's active state, uh, hovered state and all of that. So what we can do here is we can also add things like background colors if you want to. So that's black, because it'll look cool. You know, we can do stuff like this. We can also set a font family, because Times New Roman is awful. Save that. And refresh it. And you see we've now got this aerial. So we can do whatever ever styling we want. Now we can also oh, we can also do the hover styling, like like I showed in the previous tutorial, uh, just like this. I will set the color to grit to yeah, so it's green and like that. Now you'll notice that I haven't had to copy these two and kind of paste them down here. Now that is because it will automatically use these ones because it is an anchor tag after all. It will use these ones and add this one onto it. So what you can kind of think of it as it was will end up doing all of this. So we set the color orange up here, but then we're overwriting it to green. So if that doesn't make sense, then basically it will keep all of these, but add this onto it. So now we can just run that again. Uh, we can refresh it. And when I hover over it, you see it turns green. I'm just hovering over it and it's turning green. Like that. that. Um, obviously you can change whatever you want. You can change the background color or anything. Uh, since that, that's not really the purpose of the tutorial, so I just leave that. So we can also do the A colon uh, visited tag. So this these styles will be in use like when you previously visited the site. So when the site is in your searches, well in your browser's history. So we can also set a color here of red, I guess. And what else can we do? We'll set the background color of green. It'll probably look awful, but it doesn't matter. So now if we refresh, and that was for visited. Now I previously visited this link, so it's coming up with the green and the red because I've been on it before. So that's the visited uh, link. By the way, I know I'm going through this really fast, but it's quite simple. Um, you pretty you should know if you've been following the series. You should know quite a few other um, CSS tags, so you can use any CSS tags that will work with links in here. Okay, so the next thing that we can do is a colon active. And this is the styling that you get when you're still clicking on the link. So by default, the text will go red when you're still clicking on it. But then when you click away from it, it kind of changes. So uh, what we can do here is color and we'll set it to yellow background color. We'll set it to red like that. So now, if we refresh, hope this should all work, and you see I'm clicking on it and it goes red and yellow. And because I've been on this before, it's like that, red and yellow. So that is pretty much it to styling links. Uh, you see we've done the four different states, so the normal state, hover state, visited state, and the active state. Um, so yeah, these will be quite useful in your site. Obviously, you're not going to be styling it to the extent that we've done here. It might just be styling the colors and text underline 
and maybe the boldness, but that would be pretty much it. Um, See, so yeah, obviously we put uh, background colors and things on there, but you probably won't use those. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found it useful, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.